today's video I am going to show you my entire signed CD collection. Some of these CDs I've got via pre-ordering the CD on the celebrity's website. Um, on some I've met them in person and others I have sent off the CD sleeve um, to the celebrity's agent or them, just to the celebrity themselves and they have um, returned it back to me signed. This is going to be quite a long video I think because I've got quite a large collection of signed CDs so I'll get straight into it. The first signed CD I've got is um, Here's to Christmas by Chris Kamara. Personalised to me and this was from an album signing he did in HMV Leeds last year. My next CD is Bastille Doom Days signed by the drummer Woody right there and this was signed at the stage door when Woody did a, well the whole band Bastille um, did a concert in Bradford near me sadly most of the band went straight in they didn't even look at me but Woody happily came over and signed my CD and took a selfie with me which I will put up here the next one is the signed CDs by, by the specials um, I pre-ordered this from the, um, the specials website this is their New, newest CD Encore and I got it a couple of years ago or last year when it was released and I pre-ordered it and got it signed. The next one is also pre-order and it is the deluxe CD edition and cassette of Rick Astley's Beautiful Life. I'm a big fan of Rick Astley and would love to meet him one day. This is another pre-order and it is Derek Jacobi and Anne Reid's album. The best thing that has ever happened to me. As you can see it's not signed on the front but this actually included a signed insert when, when you bought it. I'm a big fan of both Derek Jacobi and Anne Reid. I do have their autographs separately on photos in my collection but when I saw that um, you could get this signed album I had to buy it. My next signed CD is The Beat featuring Rankin Roger, signed by Rankin Roger. This was also a pre-order from The Beat's website. Sadly, um, Rankin Roger did pass away last year, so this is quite a rare piece now. My next signed CD is another website pre-order from Eurovision UK entrant Suri. It is pre-ordered because um, every every CD pre-order got a personalised autograph. Yet another CD pre-order is Catherine Jenkins' latest album, Guiding Light. Yet another CD pre-order is Peter Hook and the Lights latest album um, the albums of the Joy Division and the New Order sadly um, the autograph did get a tiny bit smudged in transit but I still love I'm a massive fan of Peter Hook um, New Order and Joy Division I'm glad to have Peter Hook's autograph This is the signed, um, a signed copy of Turbo Wolf's album The Free Life. I did see the um, Turbo Wolf live a couple of years ago supporting Killing Joke and I did enjoy them so much I went online and um, purchased a signed copy of their album The Free Life. This um, this is um, David Brent and Fagon Conclusion Life on the Road soundtrack, signed by Ricky Gervais. Personalised to me, and this was a TTM success. 
uh, sent off the, um, the sleeve to Ricky Gervais's management and they sent it back to me signed. I do have quite a few Ricky Gervais autographs in my collection, but this is my only one on a CD. This is my signed copy of Susie Quattro's Legend. I did see Susie Quattro live um, in a Legends live tour at Leeds Arena in 2017. Uh, I didn't get to meet her sadly, but they were selling signed CDs at the merchandise store, so I had to buy one. Another CD from the merchandise stall at a concert was when I went to see Alice Cooper last year at Leeds Arena again and he was selling signed CDs, signed vinyl, signed posters at the merchandise stall. They were about £40 but I needed Alice Cooper's autograph so I bought his, new, his latest CD, Paranormal, signed. I'll show the next three CDs together, as they are all CDs from the boy band Blue. I, d I am a fan of Blue, and have met three out of the four members, and I do hope to meet um, Simon Webb one day. I have met Anthony Costa, Lee Ryan, and Duncan James. Um, this is, I've got two albums, Guilty and Blue All Rise, signed by Lee, Anthony, and Duncan, and my copy of The Best of Blue is just signed by Duncan. That one's signed by Duncan there. All Rise is signed by three members of the band. And Guilty is also signed by three members of the band. This is my copy of Jack Savaretti's Singing to Strangers. This was um, a Black Friday purchase from Amazon. I think it was only about £4 and it was signed by Jack Savaretti. I saw this on Black Friday and I knew I had to buy it for only £4. This next autograph is one of my most wanted autographs for a very long time. It was a pre-order from John Barrowman's website of his new album, A Fabulous Christmas. I do love this autograph, and I'm glad I got it. I would like to meet him one day too. Yet another CD pre-order is a pre-order of Simple Minds Live in the City of Angels, again. This isn't signed, however it did include a signed booklet. The silver and gold pens on there look great. I've got two CDs signed by the great Peter Andre. I did meet him at Leeds Grand's Theatre, as you will have seen in my Top 5 Celebrities to Meet video. These are the same two CDs which are showed in that video signed by Peter Andre. Another one of um, my in-person successes is Shane Ward and signed on his album Obsession. The autograph is actually under the sticker there, so I'll get the booklet out. I think that the autograph on this booklet looks amazing. Shane was such a great guy to me. I love his music, and I also loved him in Coronation Street when he was in that, and I'll put our, video, uh, our photo together here. The next few CDs are all in-person successes, which I got from separate album signings. This one is from rock band The Wild Hearts, which I got from a signing in HMV Leeds. I also met Martin and Shirley Kemp at a separate CD signing at HMV Leeds. Martin and Shirley were amazing, and I'll also put the photo here. 
Martin initially signed in this silver pen here and um, Shirley followed, but the silver pen didn't come out great and Martin said, oh, do you want me to sign it again? So he did sign it in black pen inside on this great filter and I asked Shirley to sign it again in black pen and I think this filter on the inside of the album sleeve, both signed by them in black, looks great. I think this is the only CD that um, at the signing that got signed on the outside and on the inside slipcover as well. Another in-person success is Ten Tons album. Ten Tons de debut album, Ten Tons. This is signed in two colours. Um, he started signing it in silver and the pen ran out so we carried on signing it in gold. Another CD was actually a gift from my dad who um, bought me this as a good luck on my A-level exams. It's a band I've never heard of called a Decade, but the album is called Good Luck. This was not signed on the front, but was signed on the insert. The next two were also CD pre-orders, one from Emma Bunton and her new latest album, My Happy Place. And Rita Ora's latest album, Phoenix. On to the last few CDs now. You may have seen this in my Top 5 Celebrities to Meet video. And this is Kiefer Sutherland's album, Reckless and Me, which I got signed in person. And it's one of my favourite signed pieces in the whole collection. This is one of my favourite signed pieces in the collection too. And this is the Killer Clowns from Outer Space soundtrack signed by John Masari. You may have also seen this in my Killer Clowns from Outer Space review. I'll get this out of the cover. I love how he always signs it. Um, he personalised it, he signed his name and put lots of musical notes all around. This next one is probably one of my favourite in-person successes, and this was Louis Tomlinson's uh, late, From One Direction latest album, Walls. I will put our filter together here. There's a funny story behind that filter, as there was um, strictly no filters allowed, but I'd been waiting about six hours at the album signing. I was the first person there in about a queue of about um, 500 screaming teenage girls all queuing all day. I got there at 10 o'clock. Uh, 10 o'clock in the morning for 5 p.m. signing. He did turn up late too, um, but I was the first. They said strictly no filters, but since I was the first person in the queue, um, he signed for me and then did take a felt with me. It was very rushed and it isn't the best felt in the world, but I will put that up here as it's one of my favourite. Uh, is uh, it was absolutely amazing to get a felt with Louis Tomlinson, and also great to have his autograph in person. Another great autograph in my collection is a CD pre-order from Selena, Selena Gomez and her latest album, Rare. It's great to have her autograph in my collection and I love this piece. Finally, my last two signed CDs in my collection is two step CDs, both signed by the lovely Faye Tozer. I've had three felts with her, I've met her three times and I'll put one of the felts here. I've also met Lee Latchford Evans from Steps. I did get a few photos signed by him, which will be in my autograph collection, or um, in my autograph collection videos, um, which will be coming sometime in the future. He's a lovely guy too, but um, sadly I met him before I bought these albums to get signed by Faye. 
thanks for watching my signed CD collection video. If you have any recommendations for any other autograph videos or videos in general that you want me to review, um, please put them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.